My name is Chris Schneider and I'm the school administrator and elementary principal here at Mount View Lutheran School. Hi, I'm Donna Einspar, the preschool and extended care director here at Mountain View Lutheran. I am Derek Clem. I'm the senior pastor here at Mountain View Lutheran Church and School. I'm Pastor Bradley Wellick. I'm the associate pastor of discipleship here at Mountain View Lutheran Church and School. This remodel has blessed us tremendously in so many different areas of ministry here on the campus at Mountain View. I think about that basement that I first toured when I was a uh, prospectively going to be the pastor here back in 2014 and just seeing that space and imagining all of the different things that could happen down there and finally be at the point where not only is it being used, but it's being used in a very strategic way in which it can bless ministry. We have remodeled all the preschool classrooms, all the elementary classrooms. We finished out the basement downstairs. We've redone the old youth room. We've uh, remodeled the art room. We're blessed to have been able to start this school year with all our preschool students in our newly renovated rooms. These rooms are bright, spacious, inviting, and perfect for learning and growing. Not only were the classrooms renovated, but there were some great improvements to our playground as well. If you visited our campus before the renovation, it would have been hard to miss our HVAC system. Not only did it occupy so much of the preschool playground physically, but it was incredibly loud. We're very fortunate that with the remodel, the HVAC was removed from the playground. Not only can we now hear all the kids as they run, play, laugh, tell their stories to us, but we have been blessed with more storage space. What teacher or preschool program couldn't use more space? We are thankful for all the support we have been given that has led to all the improvements on our campus. We look forward to having our outdoor equipment accessible on a moment's notice, and we look forward to taking on-campus field trips to the new downstairs library. Library, it's more of a contemporary space where students will not only be able to check out books and have books read to them and still have that tangible feeling of a book that's so important, but it's also a place where they will be able to engage digitally in doing different things with the iPads or the tablets to do things for AR, accelerated reader, where they take a test over something that they have, or a quiz over something they have just read and they can accelerate in their points and really motivates the students. And then also Waggle, which is a math thing with our new math curriculum that will help them to build on skills that they already know, develop skills that still need development, then also to challenge them as they move forward. So library is kind of morphing into a library book and digital time uh, to enable us to move into a place that is still gonna be relevant in 10 years. From the library, you can look in directly and see the computer lab. Our new computer lab is about three times the size of the old computer lab that was in the balcony. We like how we do computers now, where it's a small ratio. One teacher with half the class, while the other half is in the library. And with the way that the room is set up now with this glass window, the storefront concept, a teacher will be able to monitor both areas at the same time. It also has an interactive panel in there, the same as in the elementary classrooms on the regular level. And that will enable all the teachers to not have to take all the stuff with them because it's going to allow the teachers to log on to that panel down in the computer lab and then can keep using that space as they would if it was their own classroom. This science lab is one where a teacher can go and set things up and leave things set up. They don't have to have the kids continually move things so that they can have science that day and they continually clean it up so that they can go on to the next activity. It can be set up, kids can come to it with a teacher and then leave. Teacher can come back later and do what he or she needs to do. It also allows the teachers to get the science materials that were taking up a lot of space in their classrooms out of the classrooms and have it in that one space. It's another space that we're making available and want to have used on Sunday mornings for other Bible studies that are going to be happening down there. Well, if you've been involved in either small groups or Bible study ministry here at Mountain View, you'll know that we often try to find rooms that'll work for the ministry. 
where we'll look for spaces where there are maybe some chairs that'll work or some tables that will work. And I think will work is a definition of what we've been running with for a while. Now due to the remodel, we have this wonderful opportunity where we have spaces meant for this kind of ministry. Spaces where we can meet in groups comfortably. Spaces where we can meet for Bible study comfortably. And the space actually helps us in our study where there's multimedia aspects, comfortable chairs for people to be a part of, easy bookshelves to reach Bibles and study materials, all sorts of things that will help enhance our ministry here at Mountain. Now that we have more open spaces for specifically Bible study and meetings and all of that, we begin to ask the question, or what other kind of groups can we start now that we have the space to facilitate it? Uh, what kind of weekly Bible study groups? How does Rooted fit into this situation? There's all sorts of questions now we get to ask as a ministry and looking forward to what God has in store for us next. The amount of space that we have to do youth-related ministry has grown enormously. We've gone from a very small kind of multi-purpose space where we had our youth meetings to now having a rather large meeting room for all of our youth activities. We have a place to store things, a place to have activities, have Bible studies, and it has really enhanced our ministry. Along with Remodel, we've been able to expand a lot of what we do for youth ministry. We've gone from a once or twice a month meeting routine to now being able to involve things like service projects or fellowship activities or just more opportunities to learn and to dive into God's Word. The Remodel has really helped us expand our youth ministry and it'll be helpful as we define ministry here in the future. With the addition of the new spaces and the renovated existing spaces, we are going to have some tremendous opportunity to rethink all kinds of different areas of ministry. One of the things that we already have in place is just so much more space to be able to work with and play with, to be able to have multiple Bible studies or small groups running at the same time. And then the fact that these spaces have been remodeled. Our church is not what most would consider old. Uh, we have been on this campus since the mid-1990s, but a lot of time has passed since the mid-90s, and a lot of things were in need of either replacement, repair, or were just becoming dated. And the fact that we're able to have these things updated and have new equipment, technology, and everything else is going to help us be able to bring the gospel in ever more creative ways to ever more people. It all starts with the Ford and Freedom campaign and those people who looked at what we need to do so that we can better do ministry here. And without their leadership, without their support, and with that so often unappreciated because it's unnoticed work that they did, we as a school, I as an individual say thank you. And I look forward to ways that we can thank you because you're going to now be able to benefit, we hope, from all the changes and all these remodels because we want you to be involved in what happens here at Mount View Lutheran Church and School, not just on the school side, not just on the church side, but in the whole community aspect of it. So thank you from, from my community of school. Thank you to the whole community of Mountain View Lutheran Church and School. Thank you for all those who contributed financially, prayerfully. We thank you so much for all that you've given us. A big thanks to everyone who helped support all of that's gone on in this place, from people who've been praying for this ministry, for people who've financially supported this ministry, for people who've lended their wisdom and insight into all that we've done here. Thank you. I think about all of the people who have participated in their financial giving, in their prayerful care for the Forward and Freedom campaign. However it is that God equipped you to contribute, it has been a tremendous blessing to us.